Hello guys, hello friends, welcome back to another tutorial video, skip here and today I'm going to show you how to make uh, like in a bit, like in a second, like in a glimp of an eye uh, inside the game your own decals, very fast and very easy, I promise you that. Just pay attention to the tutorial and read the description and uh, read everything you need, also about the procedural object opt, read the description and it would be very very fine and easy. So let's start for, for now. Step 1. First open the workshop Steam, look for procedural objects, click on it, of course subscribe and then rate the mode, do the same thing for find it, click on it and then just subscribe and rate it. Step 2. Once uh, you start the game, go into the content manager, then go to the modes and in the search box just type in procedural. You will find the mode, now you have to activate it by clicking on on and off button and we repeat for the find it mode. As soon as we activate both modes, we can just load the game and then as soon as you're in the game, you'll find on the right side the procedural objects button, click on it, then open the texture folder, a new window will open, will be open, it will be completely uh, empty, but we will fill it in with our textures. Simply uh, just go and Google for textures, ground textures or anything on the Google, uh, find pictures with very good quality, 1024 by 1024 or maybe even bigger, 2K, 4K uh, pictures with textures, good, good textures. As soon as you find what you need, you only have to open your software. I will use Photoshop. Uh, if you have something else, then use something else. I cannot relate uh, this tutorial, but only to a uh, Photoshop. Open a new file in the Photoshop uh, to be 1024 by 1024 with 72 resolution. Uh, then drag in your texture file. Uh, make sure it's it's a small one. I mean it. Uh, shrink it a little bit more in order to copy it next to each other to create one big decal texture. Uh, this way they will look way much better. Uh, then you have to save the uh, file as .png and save it in the folder uh, from the procedure objects that you so earlier then go back in the game actually you have to alt top the game you don't have to quit the game go back in the game and look for square with the help of the find it mode as soon as you find the square go and click on the uh, convert to procedure object button then refresh your page in order to find the texture and as soon as you find the texture just plop it down have a look at it and if you find it very bright or very the color is not what you want then it's simple go back in the photoshop and use a little, play a little bit with the brightness. I usually lower it quite a lot and then add a little bit of contrast as well. And then of course, resave it over the file that you had uh, previously and copy it back in the folder uh, from the procedure objects, textures. Then go back in the game, use another square, convert it to a procedure object, refresh again the list uh, use uh, the um, texture you wanted, plop it down again and you can see it is a, tef a different color, a different uh, aspect. So you can play and trial and error as much as you can to find your perfect color. Now let's see how you can move the decals. So as soon as you uh, turn a, a procedure object into a decal, then you have to click on the right mouse button, keep it pressed down and move to the right or to the left in order to rotate it until you find the perfect position. Then plop it down by clicking on it and uh, if you go and hover over it, you can see it, it highlights in red. Click on it, you find edit, you, uh, you can delete, copy or move to. But now let's just edit it. Go to general tool, uh, here on the left side you can see all the sh uh, shortcuts and interesting things, read them. Then you have position, scale and rotation, the possibilities to move your uh, decal. For vertical movement, use the page down and page up buttons in order to lower and higher the uh, decals. Uh, hold the shift button while you do this for a softer uh, vertical movement 
and for a very soft vertical movement just use the alt plus shift and the page up or page down buttons but for scaling you have to turn the option to scale and in order to do so you have to use the page up or page down buttons to scale up or scale down of course for a softer uh, scaling you have to use the uh, shift button while you do those and for a very soft scaling use the alt plus the shift button to scale them now for rotation turn the options to rotation and then use your arrows buttons or the page up page down in order to rotate the decals as you please just play with it and you'll find how they work for a uh, rotation as i said arrows and page up page down for a softer rotation of course use the shift button while you do so and for a very soft rotation use the alt plus shift buttons now let's see how you can copy them uh, you have to click on the decal then either copy or ctrl c and ctrl v for pasting as soon as you do that you will paste and uh, replop the decal where you please uh, but you can you see that it is a different height in order to uh, avoid that copy again your decal ctrl v and while you do this just hold the h button before you pop it down it will take the uh, height of your copied uh, decals and uh, this way you can pop it down uh, now you can control uh, use the control button in order to select more decals at the same time and then control c and control v plus the h button in order to pop it down so guys hope you did enjoy this tutorial hope you find it very easy and you understood what you needed if you didn't just go back rewatch it uh, pause the game pause the video when you need it read the description of this video read the description of the procedural object mode it is very very important to read them and of course uh, as i promised there are five free decals that uh, you can download actually not decals but the textures uh, go and check the link from the description of this video and download them i will post more textures to uh, my patreons so on my patreon account i will post more uh, just as a reward for those who su uh, support me there um, and uh, also guys uh, i want to let you know that uh, i have a mention but these decals are prop decals procedural object decals so they do not take the uh, terrain shape i mean it's not terrain conforming it's a prop most likely but can be used as a, a texture for your pavement or for your ground for anything else uh, hope you did enjoy this tutorial hope you find it again very useful if you did don't forget to hit the like button really it will be most appreciated leave comments and if you have questions as well uh, leave them i will try my very best to answer to all of you guys and to help you out when you need something or if you need something and uh, what can i say uh let me tell you a few things about this uh, build that you see here uh, it was done in a previous video on my channel it was called custom build office uh, plaza you can also check the video it is also at the description of this video and uh, i really highly advise you to do so to see how i used it and how beautiful it is uh, to i mean an easy and also very 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 uh, nice to do stuff like this uh, you can put your own imagination at work and you should definitely do that you can make some amazing things uh, and i think in the future i will also uh, show you how you can make your own shapes using the textures as i did here a uh, few small things uh, and uh, i don't know bench looks like uh, looking like uh, or uh, different kind of shapes what else i have here like a cube uh, make your own things it is very easy but again you can also find all all everything you need at the description of the procedural object mode where also simon the creator of that mode posted a wiki page for the procedural objects and with this mod guys you can do quite a lot of things you can even change some buildings the shape of the buildings you can shrink the buildings you can make them bigger and so on but that's it's something that is not going to be included in this tutorial i think i talked a lot guys wish you all the best thanks for watching hope you did enjoy it and hope it did uh, get 
uh, really really useful for you don't forget to hit the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel and of course you should come back with some pictures with your uh, plazas and so on i'm curious to see what you did uh, still next time guys wish you the best and i salute you